Welcome, my name is Patrice, hence the Patrice Denise. And I just wanted to update everyone on my one month on Manjaro. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. All returning viewers, thank you for watching another one of my videos. So I am on a medication called Manjaro. It is a weekly injection used to control, decrease blood, blood sugars in type two diabetes. I have um, been on other medications for diabetes, glipizide, metformin, but the one that I was on the longest before Manjaro was Ozempic. And I didn't really document or pay attention to how Ozempic was affecting my uh, weight, weight loss or how it was um, affecting my A1C, unfortunately. I didn't document or um, pay attention to what it was doing. I just continued to take Ozempic each month for about a um, year and a half. But now that I am on Manjaro and actually paying attention to what it's doing, I am able to see the similarities in what happened before when I was on Ozempic. So backstory, my A1C back in 2020 was about a 10. Um, I was put on Ozempic. At that time I was trying to lose weight anyway and I I thought it was just me doing what I was doing and losing weight. I didn't really pay attention that the Ozempic had um, an effect of that or had an effect of weight loss. I didn't pay attention to how Ozempic was aiding in my weight loss. But November 2020 my A1C was a 10. By November 2021 my A1C was 5.7. And it has, I've been on Ozempic uh, one milligram from 2020 all the way through 2021. And up until October of 2022, I was on Ozempic. I started at the 0.25, I believe. And then I titrated all the way up to the one milligram dose. And I was on that for about a year until recently here in October of 2022. So, um, because of the shortages with Ozempic, I was switched to Manjaro. Now that's a, that now we got a shortage of, shortage of Manjaro, but that's a whole nother subject. I started doing research on Manjaro and saw that it does benefit with weight loss. And now I'm deciding to document my journey. So come along with me, come along with me. But so Ozempic. In the past, it obviously helped with my weight loss. It um, helped my A1C get down to 5.7 and stay in the 5.7, 5.9 range. Because I was trying to lose weight, I wasn't really paying attention to the appetite suppression because I thought it was all me, but it may have helped with decreasing my appetite. And I do remember that Ozempic, well, during the time that I was on, on Ozempic, I did have issues with constipation. So some of those are the same side effects that I have experienced this last month with Manjaro. So in the past, so on, let's see, December 1st, I did my first injection. Or was it December 31st? I mean, November. On November 30th, I did my first injection of Manjaro. Started on a 2.5 milligram dose. And my starting weight was 191.4 pounds. And today I measured, or right now, at the time of this video recording, I measured 182 pounds. So a total weight loss in four weeks of 9.4 pounds. Oh my general, that's good, 9.4 pounds. So that's over two pounds a week. Wow, wow. Here's a side-by-side -side of when I, the week after my first injection and the week after my fourth injection. So my end of the month results compared to when I first started. I've noticed a little change. So I am very happy with how Manjaro is working within my body. My blood sugars, I have been documenting that and my blood sugars have gone from well, let me back that up. I have been 
documenting or, or paying attention to my fasting blood sugar. So I check my blood sugar in the morning and before I eat, right when I get up, and those have started trending down to the very low 100s, 100s, 1-teens, below 120s. Now, if you check back some of my other videos, they, my blood sugars were up a little bit during the time of Christmas and different gatherings because the night before I indulge on the goodies. So those are the times that my blood sugars were like, the highest it was 139. So the highest during that whole four month, four week period, my blood sugar was 139. That's the highest. So that was good. So since I didn't pay attention during the time that I was on Ozempic, I am paying attention now to the side effects that occur now that I'm on Manjaro. And some of the side effects that um, I have experienced is fatigue. So I am noticing that I'm very tired the day after my injection. I inject on Wednesdays and on Thursdays, some of Fridays, I'm, I'm kind of tired, I can feel it. Not nauseous, because a lot of people say that they are um, have have they're nauseous, but I don't get that. Um, I just feel like it's a different feeling, different. It's like okay, okay, <laughs> but I feel like a fatigue feeling, and so that occurs the day after my injection. My appetite is is clearly suppressed. On I was off of Ozempic. For about two to three weeks before I got onto Manjaro, and and that's because I had a, a doctor appointment. I was trying to wait for my doctor appointment so he could switch things up. Um, I was going to either go up on my Ozempic from the one milligram to the two milligram, but then I found about I found out about the low supply, and that changed things. So we started. So I had to get a prescription for Manjaro. So it was about three weeks that I was not on Ozempic and in that time I've noticed my appetite increased, definitely increased. So now that I'm on Manjaro, I notice again my appetite is decreasing. So Manjaro definitely helps and I'm just on a 2.5 milligram dose. That's all I'm on. So definitely, definitely, definitely the appetite suppression is there. Another side effects that um, I've been feeling or I've been noticing is just a feeling of fullness. And with that feeling of fullness, I wouldn't say bloating, but it's it could, because of the delayed gastric emptying that Monjaro um, causes, the constipation. Very much constipated. So my week, I think it was week two, or was it week three? I think it was week three. Week three on, yep, last, yep, week three. Last week, I noticed I was not going. <laughs> and I like to go. So the constipation definitely was there week three. I started on like doing stool softeners. Well, taking a stool softener maybe twice a week. And I incorporated Marilax, also Metamucil, and this week I kind of switched it up. I started eating like one prune every two days or so. And that's definitely helped to move things along. And so I'm happy about that. I still take the stool softener once or twice a week. And I'm trying to go ahead and continue to drink the Miralax and the Metamucil. Um, just to add that Metamucil to add that fiber and the Miralax to help things move. But I don't, I don't want to be dependent on it. And so I want, I want things to just keep moving. I also drink a gallon of water, or try to drink a gallon of water a day. So that helps things to move. So those um, are the main side effects. Constipation was my main side effect. The fatigue, it was just that one day after the shot, after the injection, I can get over that. The constipation is what has me worried to the point where I talked to my doctor and I was about to stay on the two milligram dose, 2.5 milligram dose for another month because I was scared of the constipation. But when they started moving and because of the savings card fiasco, check out this video and I talked about that. I am going to start the five milligram dose on 
this upcoming week. Well, for this upcoming week. So I'll take the five milligram dose tonight. I do my injections on Wednesdays and I'm filming on Wednesdays. So I'm, I'm going to take my five milligram dose tonight and I will update you guys on how my first week or five milligram goes next week. Also a side effect or something that I'm feeling while since I'm being on Manjaro is that I am not so concerned about eating. I'm not always thinking about what's to, for breakfast, what's for lunch, what's for dinner. It's helping me to be able to incorporate good eating habits and healthy living because I'm not so focused on, oh, I want this for breakfast, I want this for lunch. I'm not really focused on that. So it's giving me the time to make healthy choices and, and incorporate good eating habits. So that's a good thing about Manjaro. But overall, in this past four weeks, being down 9.4 .9 pounds is amazing. Amazing. And I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling good. I hope this can this feeling continues. I am exercising. I, I have incorporated exor exercising. I've always, for the past two years, been exercising. I did slow down about three months ago, and I noticed the weight gain. That's why I need to lose some, some weight again. But... Um, once I get back into the habit of exercise and I love it the way it makes me feel and so with the aid of Manjaro with the aid of the weight loss it's all coming together and I am feeling good it you know boosts up your mental your self-esteem everything in, in with losing weight so if I had to compare or uh, summarize Ozempic versus Manjaro Manjaro is definitely stronger I'm, I'm just on 2.5 2.5 dose and I'm experiencing the appetite suppression the, the delayed gastric empty and the full feeling the not thinking about food feeling and if it's just, just doing that on 2.5 and that's like your initial starting dose just to get your body acclimated to the medication I am kind of nervous about what's going to happen on the 5 milligram dose so Manjaro is definitely definitely more powerful to me than Ozempic. One thing that I continually say during all my videos is that I want to make sure that I can withstand this weight loss even after being on this medication. So I'm thankful that I'm being able to incorporate these good eating habits and these healthy living choices so that I can use it long term and continue to keep the weight off. So to me, Manjaro is great. I talked about it before in another video. I think it should be used to aid in weight loss. Once the FDA approves it, doctors should prescribe it, especially like when in the bariatric clinics. It could be a push to to get someone to lose weight in order to have the surgery because a lot of times they have to lose this amount of weight a certain amount of weight in order to have the weight loss surgery this medication could help them get to that point so i'm excited to see what will happen in the next month when i'm on five milligrams and i want you guys to join me on this ride this journey so we could do it together i know we have uh, some other manjarians out there who are riding this journey and, and, and losing this weight and controlling their their uh, blood sugars and lowering their A1Cs. So I want you guys to join me and stick with me. I will upload a video every week on my um, progress and I will update every month on how that previous month went, but stick with me. So as always, I thank you for watching. I love you guys and God bless.